Welcome, welcome. Well, let's begin this new year with a good one. So I'm going to review The Pilgrim. The Pilgrim is a 1923 American silent film made by Charlie Chaplin for the First National Film Company. And so with all that out of the way, let's begin. The film begins with a man posting a wanted poster for The Pilgrim, played by Chaplin himself, who just escaped prison and he steals a minister's clothes to replace his prison uniform. Then at the train station, he encounters a eloping couple who want him to marry them. <laughs> Anyways, the woman's father shows up and takes her away. Then the pilgrim picks a destination at random and ends up picking Devil's Gulch, Texas, aka Satan's Ass Crack, where a diligent is waiting to welcome their new minister. And the sheriff there mistakes the pilgrim as the new minister, so the pilgrim just keeps playing his part. Oh, and fun fact, this part here with the kid wasn't scripted. He was just a random bystander. Then a large deacon takes him to the church, where the pilgrim improvises a sermon about David and Goliath. Then the pilgrim has to board with Mrs. Brown and her attractive daughter, played by Edna Perbiance. Then a crook named Howard Huntington, who is the pilgrim's old cellmate, and God only knows they shared more than just a cigarette. Anyways, he spots him, and then the pilgrim just ignores him. Later on, Mrs. Brown and her daughter invite the pilgrim to a dinner where a man and their wife and young boy arrive, and the little boy starts behaving like a little shit. What an asshole! Oh, and fun fact, the father there is played by Sidney Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin's brother. Sidney Chaplin was also the eloping man from earlier and the train conductor. And he's getting one hell of a surprise. A few moments later. Then Howard arrives and pretends to be the pilgrim's old college friend and is invited to tea by Mrs. Brown. In addition, the deacon is also there who refuses to accept Mrs. Brown's mortgage payment on the Sabbath. But throughout the night, the pilgrim tries to stop Howard from stealing Mrs. Brown's mortgage payment. <laughs> Despite his best efforts, the crook steals the money and flees. The pilgrim promises Mrs. Brown to get the money back. However, after he leaves, the sheriff shows up and shows Mrs. Brown's daughter the wanted poster from earlier. Then we see Howard heading into a casino until shit hits the fan when some robbers arrive. Any of you fucking bitch, move! And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! The pilgrim arrives, and despite the robbery, he manages to retrieve the money. He gives it to Mrs. Brown. However, he is apprehended by the sheriff and Mrs. Brown comes to his defense, revealing what he has done. But the sheriff tells them that he has to be turned in. So the sheriff takes the pilgrim to the border and orders him to pick some flowers on the Mexican side. Now taking the hint, the pilgrim returns and the sheriff has to literally kick him out of the American border before he recognizes the lawman's act of kindness. <laughs> The 
pilgrim walks away struggling to the border. And that was The Pilgrim. The film was a commercial and financial success and has received praise over the years, with Chaplin biographer Jeffrey Vance considering it as an important work. And he gave the film careful consideration in his 2003 book, Chaplin, Genius of the Cinema, as he praised it to be one of Chaplin's richest and most neglected films. And in 1952, the great French film critic André Bazin picked The Pilgrim as one of the ten greatest movies of all time. And at the time, it did receive backlash over Chaplin mocking religion. The film marks the last time Edna Perviance co-starred with Chaplin, and it was also the last film he made for the first national film, Pictures. And the film is in the public domain as of 2019, so you can go watch this film for free. And also, it's going to be 100 years old in February. So, with all that out of the way, now what do I think of the film? Well, I love it. It is very funny, especially with all the physical humor. Charlie Chaplin's improvisation of David and Goliath was pretty funny. And Chaplin knows how to get a good laugh out of me. So, I give this film 5 out of 5 wanted posters. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye.